no idea how cold it's gonna be. <laughs> Snorkel. Put your face in there. Come on. No cheating. That's ten seconds. Oh, I'm pulling you do. You can just keep that. Oh, okay. Do I take the folder with me then? Yes. Okay. Oh, you're not holding your breath. At least you can have us bobbing for apples or something. That's forty-five seconds. Good morning. So coming from Florida, here we are in Minnesota. Freezing cold, 10 degrees. Today we're gonna do some scuba diving under the ice. I've never done this before. I'm kind of excited about it. And as it's gotten closer, I've gotten more and more nervous about it. But I took the class last night uh, and it was pretty cool. It's a very worthwhile scuba diving class. If you're interested in doing this, you have to take the class. Uh, I did the dry suit class last year and I was not that impressed with it. It's basically like, here's how you use your dry suit. So, but this ice diving class is definitely worth doing if you're gonna ice dive, you need to do the class. In fact, uh, we had, in our, in our class, we had about 10 different states represented. Real diverse group, a lot of people are flying in from, from around the country to come to this ice festival here in Minnesota today. Got the kids coming out later. I've got up early this morning specifically to help out. So that way I can take you along. We can do some hole cutting, we can cut the holes. And really I wanna show you the top five things that I learned from the class, from the ice diving class today. And go through the process of showing you how, the, how it goes. I mean, I'm curious, you're curious. Let's go under the ice. Let's take a look at what it looks like. And again, the top five things that are really interesting that I didn't know coming into the class that I learned. Let's go swimming, let's get under the ice, get the dry suit on. By the way, if you haven't seen last year's uh, scuba diving in the hot springs of Utah, uh, you should go back and watch that. That definitely sounds inviting right now. I'll see you on the ice. Bill Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So one of those five things, actually three of the five things I learned last night have to do with the hole. Pretty cool. One of them is a triangle shape because uh, when you blow bubbles with your regulator, bubbles are circle. So when you look up, there's a lot of circles. But when you see the triangle, you know where to go out. The other thing you do, which I learned, number point number two with this triangle and the hole, is that you make spokes coming off of the triangle on each point. So that when you're diving, you can look up and you see those spokes and you can follow them back and preferably even have an arrow as part of those spokes. Awesome. Finally, the third thing having to do with these holes that I learned in the class is that you don't want to push the ice underneath you don't want to push the ice block underneath because it can slide back into the hole and block your hole. So you pull the ice out. It's really important with these uh, triangle holes.
Allison and the kids. Whew, it's quite the process getting those ice chunks out. Wow, and they've got like five different holes, so quite the process, but it's done. I'm gonna say hi to the kids and start gearing up and go scuba diving. It's kind of scary. It looks dark and intimidating in those holes. <laughs> Come on out. Excited? Hey kids, Excited you just much? missed the last block of ice that got pulled out. You just missed it. Come on out, buddies. High five, dude. Yeah, high five, Maggie. What do you mean the just? They the just pulled out the last block of ice. Hey, D. Hi, Dad. Ice diving, buddy. Woo. Let's go see. Do a walk around, and then I gotta do my my stuff. You know? Doing it with a wetsuit, which is crazy. They're gonna freeze. One of the things I learned in, in class yesterday uh -huh. is that uh, you're attached to a rope, and when you need, there's three signals. There's three signals. You pull on the rope to get more rope, that's just one pull. Two pulls like this means you're okay. So you check in by with two, with two rope pulls. And then if you if you have an emergency, you do three rope pulls. You go like this. One, two, three. And guess what happens when you do three and rope pull pulls? Back. Then they on the top of the ice, they pull you up as fast as they can. When you go underwater, the air would push in and it would hurt your arms. Air pressure, got it all set. Any 
I have no idea how cold it's gonna be. <laughs> Sounds like it's warmer. More worried about my fingers getting cold than anything else. <sighs> I might need somebody to do <laughs> We're getting there. He's just he's just trying to get down. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Just try to feel like it's frozen. Let's test the chicken. Huh? Give me a one, two, three real quick.
That's it? That must help a lot, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh man, thanks. That's that's what I need. Yeah, you can see all the air is pressed out of here, so they're even colder than they probably should be. Thank you. Yeah. I think they're good now. Feel a little better? Yeah, a lot better actually. I can feel them again at least. <laughs> Face. Yeah. There we go. This hand started to get way too cold towards the end of that one. It's pretty fun though. Oh. <laughs> Let's 
painful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need help with these. <laughs> Like that that was a crazy experience thanks for watching um it's definitely like super numbing on your face when you very first go down uh and it's kind of weird watching the bubbles come up and stuff and unfortunately one of our dive buddies he like kept going into the bottom and just like mucking everything up down there and that's like a super no-no among scuba divers everybody will tell you never go into the bottom and start disrupting the bottom but what are you gonna do you can't talk down there so you know, but it was still really interesting. I saw an airplane wing too. It was the first, or the airplane fuselage or whatever, the tail piece. First time I've ever seen that down here in this lake. And I, I should have some film of that. But uh, we had a lot of fun, right kids? Yeah! Hands are cold. I'm gonna get this wetsuit off. See you next time. All right. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's not strong enough. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let me help you. Oh, there you go. They're coming, get those poles in, sled poles. <laughs> Maggie, I came in a huge press. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.